Hi guys! So, I got a few things in the mail that I wanted to review and share with you. One is this pretty cool Smash Art package that I got sent to me to look after. So, <laughs> I'd actually never heard of them before they contacted me, but yeah. So I got their art package and I'm going to open it with you guys. So, ooh, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's an art box, so I'm going to see what's inside with you guys. So I haven't even opened it yet. Oh, cool. So it's got projects in here. So we got Smart Art History, Mixed Media, the tools, on how to do the step-by-step -step art project. Super cool. Smart Art Bundles, they call themselves. <laughs> I'll have a description in the link uh, if you guys are interested in them. And you'd like to get your own Smart Art package. Oh! They sent a cute little caramel apple um, lollipop. And we got a scraper and some paints. So it looks like we got pretty pastel colors. There's acrylics. Three pretty acrylic colors. Maybe I'll put them down here for now. <laughs> Um, we got sticker, some sponges, we've got, oh, Pabeo, extra fine acrylic info thing. What else do we got? We got Pabeo Matte Pub Acrylic Extra Matte and Opaque permanent. Oh, it looks like they're paint markers. Well, that's pretty cool. So some paint markers. Uh, canvas. Oh, and there's the stencil for the project. We got two canvases. Very cool. Oh, I see. So you can do the two projects that they stayed out here with the step-by-steps. Okay, so basically there's an art project, skills challenge, and it kind of takes you step-by-step -step on what to do with each of these things. So this should be super fun to try out and see how we make out on this uh, Smash Art Box challenge. So it's, this one is their one coming up for November, so that could be super fun for you guys to get. Um, I'm going to try and go through it, and we can go through it together and kind of see what we should do, I guess. So, and they're step-by-steps. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I'll put this all aside and get everything ready. To do it and one of the other things that showed up this week from um, from lowly low oh, sorry love life <laughs> lowly uh, love life she uh, she was super cool and contacted me and she sent me I'm gonna move this out of the way she has some really large silicone mats. So I'm just gonna, I opened it up. <laughs> oh, I think I have it upside down. So this might be nice to try it out on. So paint will not stick to silicone, which is really cool. So here is her um, logo. I'll have a link in the description for her extra large silicone mats as well. So thank you so much um, 
for sending me this and for this also sending the smash art box so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the smash art box while using this uh, love life extra large and it's actually quite large which is kind of nice so it sticks a little bit to itself but you know <laughs> as long as paint doesn't stick to it I think it's going to be pretty awesome and silic uh, usually resin doesn't stick to silicone either so that's pretty cool she's got create get messy love life that's pretty cute so she's used it as well with her acrylics. So I think we'll give it a try and I'm going to set it up so I can do the smash art box. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, their challenge too. This one was for the 5x7 and they pretty much give you everything in the box you need to complete the project. So this is canvas board and here we're using some pastel which, what color? That's included. <laughs> well we got a nice pretty pastel blue. So, oh. And they're saying, so they give you it step by step. They're saying this challenge will work with thicker applications of paint and collage to add more even dimension, squeeze several lines. So I'm just going to follow their challenge. <laughs> and of course you can always change your mind and do whatever you want with the stuff they include. And a pretty pastel purple. There we go. Okay. And we're working on Love Life's lovely silicone uh, mat, so the paint should not stick to it. <laughs> so basically they're wanting us to... Oh, cool. It's kind of like a 3D paint. I might move this down a little bit. <laughs> Is to blend them in and cover the canvas. Just, they're saying to just basically kind of gently dab and work it. So, I usually put down plastic, but if this silicone mat is reusable, that is pretty awesome. So I'm super excited to try these out both at the same time. <laughs> so yeah, so the Smash Art box, they contacted me and we're kind enough to send me a box to try out with you guys. This is their November one coming up. I'm super excited. So I think, so we want to, we'll be blending it. So I'm just going to turn the thing over and just kind of keep dabbing. And then I think I'll just end up blending because that's looking like what they did. So you get a whole bunch of paint. Maybe I'll move the sticker. <laughs> Onto your sponges. So it's something different. It's still acrylic paint. Not acrylic pour, but that's okay. You gotta venture out into different art types every now and then. <laughs> like I like trying watercolors and all different stuff, so... So this is giving quite a cool texture because this paint is actually almost like a puff paint. So it's giving a cool texture, more of a 3D texture um, to the painting. And here is where the blending comes in. So I'm just going to work it. Just like so. Oh, my kitty cat has decided to make some noise. <laughs> Be heard. Very cool. 
So to blend, I would just, yeah, just kind of go back and forth with the one color to the next. And then you get a nice blended canvas. That looks pretty cool. Sweet. Alrighty. <laughs> and then we get to use a stencil, which I've opened. Oh, it wants me to allow this paint to dry first before moving to the next step. Um, which you could totally do. I might... I might actually... Well, we'll see. Maybe I won't let it dry first. <laughs> I might actually work it just right on top. It seems to be drying a little, fairly quickly, so I mean... Oh, and that's where we use the pink paint. So they want us to use the stencil on top. Put it on there. And then dab the paint on top and take the stencil off. And you smush the paint around with their smoosher machine. I think it'll be okay if I stick it on, even though it's wet. So they do ask you to dry it, but meh. You can kind of work it different ways you want to. So I'm going to put it on while it's wet. And put their poofy paint on top. Now they ask you, you can do a whole bunch of different colors. Um, they're just saying to just move it around. So we're just going to make sure we get it all the way to the edges of the stencil. I'm not so sure about using this thing to move the paint around. <laughs> it's a little awkward, but I mean you can always switch to a brush. Because one should always have brushes on hand. <laughs> so I might just switch to the brush. Because I find it a little easier. Just to get up to that edge. So you can see how thick the paint is. Which is kind of nice because it's going to leave a nice even... Or a poofy. It'll leave a poofy stencil when we're done. So I think, you know, you can feel free to play around with it and do different stuff than just what the instructions say. And I'm kind of liking this poofy paint. It's different. Okay, so this stuff actually dries pretty quickly. This poofy paint. It's not normal acrylic it's like they call it acrylic mousse it's like they're calling it a pastel paint so it's definitely got some texture to it so i'm going to lift it up so you guys can see Ooh, <laughs> that's kind of fun and it's definitely textural so that's pretty cool and then you can just keep playing and doing whatever, right? So I might use the reverse and do like a stamp over here. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, and you can definitely keep stamping and playing around and it's got some cute little hearts. Maybe another stamp here I'm just pushing it down lightly so that whatever paint was left on it will stamp down and I'm not too worried if it like I can go and do this a little bit Oh, that's super cute. 
And maybe do this. Actually, I liked it with the finger. Well, I guess I could use this. But I need some more paint. So let's just put it right on the silicone mat. <laughs> do the stamping a bit different. I'm going to use the sponge. So you know what, this is kind of fun like if you wanted an art project and you're not too sure what you want to do and you just wanted something to do or to get involved with or some kind of thing to play with. They give you everything you kind of need to do an art project and to work on. Cute. <laughs> I think I might add a bit pink down here. I just want to even it out a little bit. I have some pink all over. Kind of want that flatter. But I want to leave that nice and bumpy. I say just play and have fun with it. <laughs> I like that. That's looking pretty cute. Right. So now they even want you to use to do some collaging and even use the tissue paper they provide in the box, which I had to go back and grab. <laughs> So they made like a little bird with some bubble wrap and put that on there as a mixed media. Cute. Okay, well, I'm gonna probably have to let this dry if I wanna add a collage piece on here. Okay, so I've never used these paint pens before. I'm just gonna see. Okay, it's like a poofy paint. All right. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this just to highlight some stuff. Like definitely maybe in here. Okay, so that's just me having some fun with these uh, paint pens. They're definitely not like a super puffy paint. They're kind of liquidy. Um, they seem to be staying in place, but you can see how if you squeeze a bit too much, you get some spillover. Um, but, I mean, it's fun to play with and definitely create something pretty cool. <laughs> now, you could definitely do follow the instructions and do the collage thing, but I just wanted to play with at least a paint pen and try it out and see how it would turn out and they're pretty cool. This poofy paint though I am liking it so it's got kinda like a texture to it um, which is pretty cool. It's a different kind of acrylic. They call it acrylic mousse so that's really cool. So I kinda like that. I might play with this on some other art pieces and try it out. I don't think this would work really good for acrylic pouring <laughs> but if you did an acrylic pour you could definitely use this acrylic mousse on top of the acrylic pour which would be kind of cool. That might be something to try out. Um, but yeah this is the Smash Art uh, Smash Art box so and thank you also to Love Life for the beautiful large silicone mat. I'm super excited that I can just wash you know this off and reuse it so that's pretty cool. I don't even mind that's a bit like when I first took it it was a bit sticky but now it's kind of like sticking to the uh, vinyl thing I used to paint on so that's pretty cool so it's staying in place really good. 
So there's two things that I'm pretty excited and thankful that got sent to me to try out. And uh, links will be in the description for them for sure. And I also want to say a huge thank you to everybody who's trying, who've been ordering my pre-cut vinyls on my Crafty Gen Art Store. I hope you guys are enjoying them and I'm going to do another video where I showcase um, what some people have sent me using the pre-cut vinyls. So if you have you ordered my pre-cut vinyls and you created your artwork and you want to send me it, um, that would be amazing because I love seeing what everybody does with them. And then I'm going to put a video together to showcase them every now and then So, because I'm super excited um, and happy that you guys are creating art with them. and. That is just getting everybody doing stuff and creating. So I want to thank everybody and thank you also for using my Amazon links. I do make a small commission from when you use the link, so I greatly appreciate it. Every little bit helps. Um, and I have some diehards that always tell me they use my links, so I really appreciate that. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I can't wait to do some more um, pours that I have coming up. And I'm also going to try out some resin. So I have a show coming up that's all about the dogs. So I'm going to create some things for that. So I hope you guys all have some super fun creating. And thanks for watching my channel.